Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. Uh, last time I was in uh, Canmore and the Whiteman's Pond, so you can check the previous video. The weather starts improving and it's starting to look better. starts improving and it's starting to look better a um, couple of weeks ago or not a not couple of weeks ago I should say uh, last weekend on uh, Friday even though it is uh, quite late for spring already but I woke up in the morning here in Calgary and uh, there was a 10 centimeter 10 centimeters of snow on the ground I wasn't really impressed the good thing is uh, that the same afternoon uh, by two o'clock everything already melted so the sun is getting hotter it is getting warmer and uh, the spring is coming I was yesterday on a walk with my daughter and we have spotted quite a bit of few interesting uh, birds uh, in our area then I googled it and uh, they are from all the way from California apparently I'm not sure but I don't think I've seen those birds uh, in uh, any previous year I just gonna shoot the photos here on top so you can see them and uh, we went further down uh, for a hike uh, in the community uh, I've seen some flower flowers that are growing there so that's quite interesting Obviously those flowers uh, you can't you can't pick them uh, they're I think that they're sort of endangered species <laughs> So yeah and today beautiful day the idea is uh, to head out to Indian graves I'm not sure if that highway is open yet but uh, time will show I'm getting close to Black Diamond so that's the plan for today the temperature right now is uh, 16 degrees Celsius so it is uh, not too bad at all I don't think there's much wind and uh, what I'm gonna try to do I will try the active track on my DJI drone uh, Mavic Air 2 last time when I tried it it didn't work too well for some reason and I lost them in the mountains <laughs> yeah I made a video actually about it uh, that was pretty much the end of the last season uh, when I went down by Prince Creek I linked the video above here so you can check it out so also what I have done I have installed on my Garmin Zumo the BDR routes for uh, Western Canada so that covers pretty much everything uh, from Manitoba all the way west uh, to Vancouver Island so the whole Western Canada is covered on that and uh, I already played with it at home I uh, started routing uh, our trip for uh, June that we are planning to go and I gotta say uh, that's pretty impressive uh, how many uh, backcountry roads uh, off-road uh, sections is included on this map even the map uh, interface here uh, it, it looks slightly bit different because it adds uh, the additional layer so basically in the menu of Garmin Zumo there's an option to select uh, different maps and when you select all of them all the layers uh, the regular zoom layers plus uh, the BDR maps uh, they are on a display so that's pretty cool it has so much information and uh, also all the points of interest uh, on uh, on that map uh, they they've added all the 
campsites uh, that are available for off uh, while you're off-roading and everything else um, yeah there's uh, so much uh, to it I still gonna play more with it uh, I'm, I'm the type of guy that uh, likes to play with that kind of stuff a bit and uh, get to know the the mapping because uh, there's so much more to it wow i can't believe uh, how clear is the air today you can see the mountains like they're so close by but it's still quite a ways to them so i'm just approaching long view up ahead we're good with gas, we should be fine. Maybe on the way back I will fill it up, I don't know. It all depends how much uh, I'll drive out there. If not, I fill it up uh, in my uh, close to home. Okay, it looks it's open because it's close to April 30th. So they have opened this stretch of the road now. Sweet. And there is a chain lake. Part of the chain lake right ahead of us. Where's the sun? Quite a few clouds, let's hope nothing is gonna change as always. Last few times when I'm out, it's uh, the weather is always changing. That would be like a good place up ahead, maybe to launch the drone before I get uh, to the destination. We're just a few minutes away from here.
so still even with the software update it's uh, the Mavic Air is losing me pretty quickly the, I think that the problem is that the, the picture that it has to follow uh, which is uh, me on a bike it's uh, just too small and it always gives me a message uh, since it's a moving, moving object that uh, uh, that it will, it will stop recording and it's gonna switch uh, to follow the car or a human which is not the case uh, because if I if it detects me as a human it follows me no problem because it's a slower movement but on a motorcycle it's kind of uh, you get this little bit of speed and uh, it doesn't follow as good it uh, follows for literally like a minute or two as soon as you go around the corner it uh, loses you that's kind of bummer I wonder how is the new Mavic Mini uh, how much luck people will gonna have with the uh, tracing mode last time I was here that road uh, had better days it, uh, this this year is like wow maybe it's just because nobody groomed it yet they just uh, opened it like a um, few days ago that's my guess but it is in a horrible shape which is fine because uh, normally you would see that uh, limestone dust and gravel and uh, this way it's still it's still manageable uh, I like it actually more it's rougher but uh, doesn't have as much dust and uh, especially like uh, this year yet there's not too much traffic holy moly I'm getting to the higher elevation and uh, seems like there is uh, more snow in here already <laughs> I passed the Indian graves already and uh, I don't know if there was nothing to stop for anyway so I figure I'll, I'll take it a little bit further off-road to have some fun and uh, hopefully I'll find some place maybe to pull off uh, one more time and fly that drone one more time wow what a spectacular view early in the season but at the same time I have to watch my fuel because I still have to get back to long view and uh, I decided that I will fuel up on the way back <laughs> oh, it is fun it's a bit cooler out here oh what's the temperature so it is 12 degrees so from uh, 16 down at the lower elevation and uh, here I'm at uh, 1800 uh, meters above sea level so that's almost uh, that's quite a bit of difference uh, I already gained uh, from the main highway it'd be nice if I put the gloves on I was flying the drone and I put the gloves in my tank bag and now I didn't put them back on and oh, I can put the paw warmer the heat grips on and that will improve it and I'll stop next time and uh, that's when I will um, Put the gloves on on the way back because i'm gonna have to turn around at some point wow what a view unbelievable i've been here like i don't think i've been here last year i've been here like two years ago and <laughs> winter is still here believe it or not
just gonna get up there and uh, if I remember correctly there is a way to pull over and I'll see if I can fly the drone in this area I have to check on the map if I'm in Kananaski's uh, park yet or not yet if I'm not in a provincial park then I should be okay go I got it to the top I thought I gonna be able to fly the drone and yes uh, according to the app I can fly it here unfortunately look at the wind it's a pretty strong wind and I don't think that's gonna happen uh, so this is as far as gonna go today so I don't want to go any much further because uh, I'm on at the quarter tank of fuel and I remember this area here that was pretty nice area uh, we stopped here when we were going on the way to Grey Creek uh, Pass. So we went this way and then we came back uh, a different way. It was beautiful, but uh, as you see, uh, middle of May pretty much. Uh, I think it's the 12th of May today and there's still a lot of snow. Uh, so, but it's uh, accessible and the road is actually very nice, as I was saying earlier uh, when I was talking on my helmet cam. The sun is coming out that's a good thing because there was the big cloud right here so yeah so we made it here all right though good day i wish those clouds this is the biggest one oh crap it looks like it might rain on the other side there hopefully not so at this point i better get start packing up here and uh, start heading back i don't want to take a chance as it's pretty cool getting pretty cool so i don't want it to get wet or maybe just gonna snow, who knows. So I'll see you guys on the road uh, just a little bit more and uh, we'll slowly wrap up that video. Talk to you later. The lake is melting slowly and that's where up ahead the beautiful view oh wow gorgeous I just wish it was sunny got down to five degrees no wonder I was feeling chilly that's how quickly the temperature changes in the mountain down at the bottom it was plus 16 as soon as I got up here I started feeling the chill I just wish to be here maybe I'll try a couple more times maybe this is a beautiful right so most likely I'll head out here a few more times this year and uh, maybe I hit the uh, no wind day or lesser of a wind because that wind is too strong normally if that was in a flat area i would give it an attempt 
and uh, I would try to fly that drone but uh, here in the high mountains um, I don't want to lose it that's the rough section I stay on the truck oh, the chipmunks are gone awake already my daughter loves those things oh look at all this deer Come on, boys! Any more running here? The other cars are sitting and staring at me in the bush. Awesome! It looks like it's a snowflakes coming down. So that's uh, Indian's grave area, campground. Everything is still closed early in the season. So that is the place uh, I'm gonna have to come by with my daughter and uh, for camping. It's not too far. It's like uh, an hour drive from home and uh, I can take her motorcycle camping. She's gonna love it, I bet. Oh, the weather started, the day started so promising with a beautiful sunshine and every time I get up, get into location so far this year, the weather starts to crop out. Uh, when I was on top there, the temperature was only 5 degrees and down here I'm already at 12 degrees so it is uh, way warmer and you don't feel that cool breeze anymore feels good all right guys so this is it for today and uh, that little trip to indian graves and a little bit further to the mountains and an awesome day and uh, if you like the video don't forget to hit that like button to help the youtube algor algorithm to recognize the content if you are new here, as always, the rewarding thing for me is uh, when you hit the subscribe button. Check out my other content and see you next time. See you in the next video. Cheers.